All right, so this is gonna be my review of the BB Run Wi-Fi FPV quad. So this is a really cool little nano quad copter, 2.4 gigahertz. And I'm just gonna open this now for you guys so you can see what you get. There'll be links in the description for everything I talk about. Um, but just off the bat, you know, this should be a really cool, fun drone. It's controlled by a, you know, by your phone, and uh, wow, it really, it really is quite small. This thing, cut that. Okay, so this is the drone. Now, what's interesting about this is it has what's called an optical flow sensor. So this sensor here in the bottom should be able to hold it in place, and so it can detect where it is in actual space. Okay, so we've got. A really nice little controller here, really compact. And then this, I assume, this pulls out, and you can you can put your phone in there. That's actually really quite a nice touch. This feels really well made. And then we've got these slightly weird controls, which are actually discs instead of joysticks. So you sort of move the disc around. That might take a bit of getting used to, but you know, comes already charged. Okay, so let's just let's just start. Don't know what these bits are for. So what we've got on the controller, we've got obviously this one is for throttle up and down, yawing left and right. This one's directional, left, right, back, forward, etc. We've got the on and off button to turn on the controller. Then we've got the takeoff button and the land button, and that's pretty much all there is to it. These, there's some other features here that you can use as well, but generally this controller is a very simple way of controlling the drone. So this is the review of the BB Run Micro Drone. This thing's very similar to the Chearson models where they're fairly small and you know, they're very agile. This can be controlled entirely with your phone, um, although I wouldn't recommend it because when you're using a phone, what happens is, is you're moving around the joysticks. If your fingers get at all sweaty or you know, they slip on the screen, you lose track of where you are without that actual feedback of a controller like this. That being said, this controller isn't great in the sense that these buttons here, the actual joysticks, are flat. So you, what happens is your fingers can slide across them, especially if it's a hot day and your fingers or you're sweating or whatever. I found the best thing to do is just to use this controller and just be a bit careful of the buttons. Make sure you always remember where they are. And it has other features like you can do flips and it's got, it can use this optical sensor here to make sure that it stays in one place. It holds its altitude fairly well as, uh, you know, I can show you that as well. What I like about the propellers is that they're actually kind of flexible. So if you crash this thing, and you, you're gonna crash it, let's be honest, the propellers won't just shatter, they'll actually just bend and sort of land nicely. Another thing that's really cool to notice about this is it has rubber grips on the feet, so that when it lands, it doesn't make as much noise and it doesn't sh sort of send shockwaves through the whole device, it sort of lands softly. So you get a bunch of things like I showed you in the unboxing, you get some spare propellers, you get a little wrench to, to take the propellers off and on, you get a micro USB cable to charge the remote controller, and you obviously get the USB to actually charge the drone itself. What I would say about that is it's kind of a bit fiddly to get this thing in. I'm sure in time that'll go away and it'll become easier. So yeah, overall the B Run drone is pretty cool. I would recommend getting it, and you can find a link in the description. It's obviously not going to be as fast as other drones. That being said, it's great fun, good for beginners, and you can record footage. The app's pretty cool as well. So yeah, overall, good drone.